Many people think they know how to bench press, they go to extremes almost killing themselves and some other individuals, you know, they just want to do some barbell kills instead. However, there are a lot of good powerlifters out there, but let me teach you how to bench. Step number one is to attract your scapula, so basically pull your shoulder blades back. Now you can either depress your scapula or you can elevate your scapula, just do what's strongest for you. And this will really reduce the range of motion and it will be a lot safer on your shoulders. I mean, this comparison clearly shows that when you don't retract your scapula, you move in that bar about six foot and retracting your scapula is really decreasing that range of motion. The next step, which is also a very important one, is arching. And arching will be a lot more safer for your shoulders and it will also again allow you to move more weight because it decreases the range of motion. Line the bar up between about your mouth and your forehead. When you arch your lower back, make sure you push your chest up high. As you can see, the green line is a lot higher when you're pushing your chest up, whereas the red line indicates not even retracting your scapula and definitely not pushing your chest up. Also make sure to take a deep breath into your stomach and keep your torso rigid therefore you can transfer the force from your hips to the bar when you're using some leg drive. This is the most popular foot position because it allows for a good arc and a leg drive. Whereas this one is the least popular because you can't really get a big arc and with the leg drive your feet are so far in front it's quite hard. And lastly. Basically, this is where you put your feet back as far as they can. You can get a massive big arc of this, obviously depending on your spine flexibility. However, the leg draft is suffered here because you can only press with your toes. Take a grip about one and a half to two times shorter width apart and just really make sure that your wrists are not cocked back because this will just cause a necessary strain. To prevent this, just grip the bar lower in your hand and also squeeze the shit out of the bar. So if you look at my wrist there, look how far it's cocked back and that's just unnecessary strain. You should try and aim to hold a bar just like this, basically the bar closer to your thumb rather than your fingers, like shown in the green compared to the red box. So here you can see from the side angle how it looks. So when it comes to the descent, you really want to think about bending the bar and this will naturally just tuck the elbows in, making it come out like about a 45 degree angle. Also really lower the bar under control and squeeze your glutes and really drive your heels into the floor in order to get that good leg drive. You also want to try and aim to such a bar about your nipple and lower sternum area so your lower chest and really it just comes down to do what's strongest for you but also it's really important that you drive the bar aggressively off your chest as hard as possible. So as you can see here the sternum is just literally below the lower chest basically and that's where about you want to touch the bar but again do what's strongest for you okay look on my elbows here and your elbows at the bottom of the lift should be slightly in front of you but only at the bottom however your elbows should flare when you bring the bar over to your upper chest and throat also remember to hold your breath from breathing through your stomach until the lockout just to maintain the tension and stability so here's the wrong way to do it. You have your elbows at the bottom, slightly in front. However, you do not flow your elbows at the top of the lift. So here we can see from the side, on the left hand side, it's flaring, on the right, it's not. Another important factor when it comes to the acid is just to really press every rep as hard as possible, even if it's a lightweight on the bar. Now also remember to press towards your face, not like most people will tell you. And most people think it's just an up and down motion. It's definitely not press towards your face and getting the bar over your upper chest or throat. So here's a great diagram by Greg Knuckles showing you a bar path that you should be aiming for here in the green. That is showing you that the motion is from your lower chest and pushing the bar back up to your face. And here you can see me indicating that the bar path is not straight up and down like most people think it is. It's down to your lower chest or lower sternum area then back into your face. So here are some summary tips if you want to write them down feel free to do so um it can be overwhelming but once you do it again and again it's not that overwhelming and we're not competing in powerlifting or at least i'm not so that's the end of the video if you haven't noticed i'm not a professional powerlifter so if that's what you came here for i'm sorry but you clicked on the wrong video and if you enjoyed the video let me know if you like the voiceovers 
Subscribe to the channel down below. Share this with your friends and anyone else. I worked hard on this video for you, man. I hope you know how to bench press. Stay positive, stay smiling, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. No, there ain't no stopping us.